Hi guys, this is Diane Gibson. The purpose of this video is to show you how to complete the Monster Genetics Lab activity. So let me go ahead and scroll down. Basically what the directions are asking you to do is to get a coin and to flip that coin to determine the genotype and phenotype of the monster. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the first trait, which is I. So allele 1 is dominant for two small eyes and allele 2 is recessive for one large eye. So what I would do is get my coin and if I got heads for the first flip followed by tails, the genotype would be big E, little e. This is heterozygous and means that the monster would have two small eyes. If I flipped the coin and got a tails followed by a heads, it would still be big E, little e, or heterozygous for two small eyes. If I flip the coin and got two heads, it would be homozygous dominant, and that is big E, big E, and my monster would have two small eyes. If I flipped it, flipped the coin twice and got tails and then another tails, this is homozygous recessive and my monster would have one large eye. The way this plays out is you figure out your phenotype and your genotype. The genotype is how it looks genetically, so that would be big E, little e, big E, big E, little e, little e. Those are all genotypes. And then the phenotype is the actual physical manifestation of the trait, so how the monster looks. Does it have two small eyes or does it have one large eye? And the reason the genotype is so important is because depending on the genotype of the parents, the offspring are going to look a little different. So let me go ahead and go through an example of a Punnett square. So let's say that the father is big E, little e. So he has one big E and one little e. And then the mother, let's say she has two little e's. Oops. Come on. There we go. Okay. So the first baby is going to have a big E from the dad and then a little e from the mom and then the second baby is going to be homozygous recessive so it will have a little e from the dad and a little e from the mom the third baby will get a big e from the dad and a little e from the mom or a little e from the dad and a little e from the mom. Okay, so what this means is that this baby has a 50% chance of being homozygous recessive or having one large eye. Or the other side of that 50% says that the baby has a 50% chance of being heterozygous and having two small eyes. Now, depending on the genotype of the parents, the offspring's genotype will change. So let's say that the mom actually has um, the heterozygous trait. Let's see what happens. That means that the first baby would get a big E from the dad and a big E from the mom. Second baby, little e from the dad, little e from the mom. Third baby, big e from the dad, little e from the mom. Fourth baby, heterozygous recessive. So this baby also has a 50% chance of having one large eye or a 50% chance of having two small eyes.
with the headers, I guess, trait. Um, the difference here is that you can see that there is a 25% chance that this baby will be homozygous dominant, but will still have two small eyes. So let's say that the dad is homozygous dominant, then you can see how the potential offspring will change. So now, since the dad's homozygous dominant and has two big E's, all of the offspring will have two small eyes, but some of the offspring will have a chance at passing on that recessive gene. Um, so that's basically how typical Mendelian genetics works. And if you have any more questions about how to complete the uh, lab activity, just let me know.